I always hold my breath when a stranger comes to the door to inform me that a cow is loose on the highway. I breathe a sigh of relief when I find out it's not mine. I know that sounds awful, but it's true, of course. I do feel bad for whosoever critter it is, but chasing somebody else's cow back where she belongs is kind of like driving a rented car. You do your best, but you don't worry about the outcome quite as much, especially if there's three or four neighbors helping. Or passing motorists who are always willing to help. There's something that draws these good Samaritans, like a car wreck or someone threatening to jump off a bridge. Or if things are really getting out of hand, there's always the possibility you can take down your rope and get a shot or two at her yourself before she crawls through the fence. Of course, if it's your cow, it's different. You're racing around trying to get the lower pasture gate open whilst keeping an eye on her latest reported position. You're shouting orders at members of your family and the neighborhood pets and stationing motorists to slow down traffic and mostly just making a fool of yourself. The cow, on the other hand, has developed amnesia. She seems to have lost all memory of where she's been eating and sleeping for seven years. She's got her head up in the air like a drum major. You manage to get her headed off and she breaks back south in the opposite direction of your place. You're a horseback and your wife's rattling down the end of the cornrows in the pickup. The good thing a 3030 is with her. The cow finally turns up the neighbor's drive and is converged on by six vehicles swerving in like treasury agents at a moonshiner's convention. You find her in the neighbor's shop calmly chewing on electrical wire. With a little help, you get her worked into his corral, then you go home and get the trailer and haul her back to the house. An experience you won't long forget, especially since it'll be the hot topic at the coffee shop for the next 30 days. This is Baxter Black from out there.